Oregon's diversity is one of its greatest assets and also one of its greatest challenges. The divisions we face, urban and rural, red and blue, can feel insurmountable at times. And with noticeably fewer opportunities to meaningfully discuss those divisions, Community Oregon creates a unique way for individual Oregonians to learn from each other, to find common ground, and to more fully understand those differences in order to create a healthier democracy. If you look at the national dialogue, there was a lot of, wow, look at all these you know, red counties, which tended to be quite rural, and the blue ones were, were almost exclusively urban. We, what we have here is a country that maybe doesn't know itself very well. But it feels as if we're getting to a point where the country no longer has an interest in knowing each other, right? So this is our opportunity to see what would happen if we invited people from those areas to come and talk and know each other. Rather than thinking of it on that macro level, you have to start at the individual level. And you have to start with relationships, relationships being the key to community, the key to neighborhood, the key to family, and, and, and everything else. Challenging is holding back um, preconceived notions. There's constant like biases going in my head that I have to like fight in my head within my head. There's no way that we are going to talk about any of our differences, political, spiritual, have a conversation about class, any of the isms without it being uncomfortable. So people have to just understand that it is uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. I feel completely uncomfortable. We are um, carrying this through a, uh, through a process that if it were easy to do, there would be no need for us to be in this room together in this kind of structured way. Does that mean that there should be more local control? Can you help me make that decision? Closer to the people. There's like different kinds of marginalization. There's different kinds of discrimination. And it can be based, and it gets like worse and worse and worse and worse the more marginalized you are. We really often don't know genuinely where people are coming from. We may think we do based on a snap judgment we make or some of the language that they use or even their appearance. But the, when you really dig down deeper, it's very easy to connect with people that are even seemingly very different from you um, when you know their experiences and their stories. And I think that's a lesson that I will take away from you. We don't have to be narrow-minded. We can learn more. And I think that this was an incredible opportunity to learn more from people who we probably never would approach in public to have a conversation with. Indescribably transformational. Uh, I'm going to take so much of what I learned here back into not just my community and my nonprofit, but I think it will change the lens through which I see the rest of my life. Community is the answer to division. And we don't have enough spaces to create community in this state and in our lives. If you create the right environment for them to, to be authentic with one another, they almost always step up. Thank you.